Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and this is a review for the Vankyo V610 Full HD Projector. You'll receive the projector in a carrying case, 6.5 foot power cable, 5 foot HDMI cable, remote control, 1 8 inch AV cable to RCA connector, USB card reader, mounting screws and extra fuse, lint free lens cleaning paper, a user manual, and quick start guide. The carrying case is made of a padded canvas fabric, has an accessory pocket in the front, two thick carrying straps, and dual zippers. Inside, you'll find the projector. The V610 projector measures 12 inches wide, 10 inches across, and 5 inches tall. On the front, there's a plastic lens cap over the 3 inch diameter glass lens an IR receiver to its left, and this plastic edge accent on the right hand corner. Just under the front edge is a tilt foot that unscrews to raise the front of the projector up to 1 and an eighth inch to adjust the height of the projection. If your lens becomes dusty or dirty, simply tear off one of the lint-free lens wipes and swab it down. No cleaning solution is needed. To adjust the focus of the projector, grasp the adjustment ring and turn it to change the focus. The adjustments are smooth and granular, so you can adjust the focus quickly and precisely. On the left hand side, you will find the built in speaker and a rubber door marked More Ports here. Behind this door are the AV input port for use with the included RCA adapter, AUX output or headphone port to pass sound onto an external speaker and VGA input port for connecting to a computer or laptop. On the back of the projector are another IR receiver, two USB ports, two HDMI ports, power switch, fuse compartment, which is where you'll insert the extra fuse if it blows, and AC power port. On the right hand side is the fan exhaust. Just make sure this side stays unobstructed and is well ventilated to prevent overheating of the projector. The top of the projector is covered in a chic, gray, abrasion-resistant polyester. The logo is small and unobtrusive, and on the back left-hand corner is the power button. Other than that, there are no physical controls on the unit, so be sure not to lose the remote control, because this is the only way to control the projector. Taking a closer look at the remote, it has a power button, mute, play pause, rewind and fast forward, directional navigation and OK button, back, menu, source selector, volume down and up, and keystone correction. On the back, the battery bay opens up from the side, and the remote uses two AAA batteries, which are not included. On the bottom of the projector are four rubber feet and the adjustable tilt foot. Under each of the four corner feet are threaded mounting bracket holes to be used with the included mounting screws and a ceiling mount sold separately. To turn the projector on, flip the power switch, then press the power button on top once it's red, indicating standby. The LED lamp takes about 10 seconds to warm up and turn on after pressing the button. With the two HDMI ports, I can hook up my cable box and Fire TV stick although I do have to use an HDMI flex adapter to get it to fit into the space. I can also power the Fire TV stick using one of the USB ports. In the other USB port, I can use the USB card reader and insert a micro SD card with videos, photos, or even music loaded on it. Note that if you want to use the full size SD card slot on the right hand side, you have to remove the HDMI input, which may be blocking access to the slot. Now I can put the card in on the right side. Just keep in mind that only one card can be used in the reader at a time. Here's a quick look at the projector during the daytime. While I have the lights in the room off, you can see there's plenty of light from the windows. However, the image on the screen remains quite visible. The projector is set at about shoulder height and 13 feet away from my 120 inch diagonal projector screen. The slight hum you hear in the background is from the fan of the projector. 
Now that it's nighttime, let's turn out the lights in the room. You can see the projected image here is very clear, bright, and sharp. The sharpness remains consistent even at the corners of the screen, which makes this unit ideal for gaming or esports. Just a quick update on the Nightcore USN1 giveaway that I'm posting on my blog. Uh, Nightcore has generously decided to upgrade the mount. What you're listening to now is the native stereo 5 watt speakers built into the projector. You can hear the audio from the video matches up pretty well to the image on the screen, with little to no lag, and it does a decent job of drowning out the fan noise so that you don't notice it. You'll receive the motor base, auger assembly, juice container, pulp container, cleaning brush, separator sleeve. At the max volume though, the sound does tend to distort a bit, so it's best to keep the volume in the mid-range, or for better sound performance, hook up an external soundbar or sound system using the headphone port and an audio cable. However, you won't be able to pass on Dolby or surround sound, and there are no other audio output options like SPDIF. The USB interface for the projector is pretty basic, but easy to navigate. You can see the colors of the projection are rich, nicely saturated, and fairly vivid. Blacks are very dark, and there's very little distortion or loss of contrast. If your projector is on an angle, you can adjust both the vertical and horizontal keystone using the remote control to tilt the image and get it square. Overall, this projector is able to produce high-definition video in a large format that remains clear, crisp, and detailed. I found the brightness to be adequate at a 120-inch diagonal, though it can go up to 200 inches. Just note that the image will look dimmer the larger the size. You'll want to use this projector in nearly pitch black conditions to get the best performance, but in a room with some light, it's still usable. It can also be used outside. I recommend using an external speaker, but even without it, the built-in speaker is loud enough to cover up the fan noise, making this projector great for movies, gaming, or even slideshows. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and join me next time.